What is up everybody in YouTube land? I am going to show you guys how to replace a wash pump on a Whirlpool dishwasher of this style. And this is part number W110-84656. Right there. And we're going to knock this out real quick. Stay with me. I'll show you exactly how. First I wanted to show you what this part looks like out of the box. You can see it comes with the snail assembly that's on this thing. And I'm going to tell you right now that you don't really need this. Just twist whichever direction and pop that pump right out. And so you just have the motor. Now we're going to have this thing up here to contend with. Okay. Uh, so we have to kind of be careful of that. I'll show you how to deal with this thing and still get it kind of quarter turned in there you can do this in like 10 minutes it's it's pretty simple so stay with me and uh, we'll get this thing repositioned so you guys can see what's going on underneath down here you're on top of the dishwasher right now but uh, we'll get you a better angle and we'll get to this guys so for full disclosure I have this dishwasher I have the bottom rack out of it up there and I have it just kind of laying on its back in the hole so uh, in order to do that I take the, the water line off that's laying right there uh, and I also put a towel down, um, a bath towel will do it. You shouldn't get much more than that. And uh, let's, let's get started on this thing here. Sorry guys, trying to position this so you guys can sort of see what's going on. I don't have my tripod with me, unfortunately. All right, there we go. So, what I'm going to start doing, of course I have this machine unplugged as well. Just pop that connector out and there's another little loom around the back that you unclip right here. So just pop that out. And uh, you can also, what I'm also going to do is take this counterweight off, which is actually just there for noise. It's a 5 16 and we're just going to unbolt that real quick. Hopefully it will give you guys a, a better view. This isn't 100% necessary. There we go. We'll just put that aside. And now you guys can see what I'm doing here. So what I'm going to do is pull this tab out of the top. It's got a little rubber piece. You can stretch this little piece right here a little bit, but don't go too crazy. Gotta sit back up again. Again, sorry about this camera, guys. You guys a better view of that here. Okay, so see how this rubber piece has come out? We can just take that off uh, and kind of clip that back in there the best we can. Because we're gonna. Uh, yep, okay. So now what we're free to do is just quarter turn this thing on its assembly. Two hands to do this. So you gotta hold it with one hand so you don't stress anything out. And you turn it so these tabs right here are not locked in to the place that they're supposed to be. Okay. So now we're gonna get a little this is where the water happens. See a little bit of water, no big deal. Now what I tend to use to put these back together, a little bit of lubricant. So what we're going to do, put a little bit on our finger, just a little dab. And then we're going to kind of spread it on that right there. And what we're doing is lubing this up 
and take what's on your finger and you kind of spread it a little bit around inside that grommet we were talking about that I showed you guys. And uh, another thing of note is I've disconnected part of the heater too. Sometimes you might need to get that wire out of the way. Uh, so we'll just slap this thing back in where it goes. Right there. And it's pretty much reverse order right now. So oh, we've got to make sure that that doesn't interfere. And you've got to make sure that that's up. And then you just kind of wrestle it in there. And with that lube, that thing will hang right there. So we have the freedom now. Oops. We have the freedom now to re-put our power wire, which is this blue one right here. Of course, we got to snake it inside the cord, the power cord, because this is this power cord is kind of in our way here. Uh, I'm trying to do this one-handed, so forgive me. But we're going to just tuck that in that loom right there-ish. Yep, okay, and we come around and connect this back up right here. You're gonna have to kind of force it past that little tab and click it in. Good, so that's secure. That's it, guys. And then we just kind of prop it up, put that water line back in, and uh, then you're good to go. All right, so that is how to do a pump, most pumps on Whirlpool style dishwashers like this. That's the quick appliance tech way, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another episode.